Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you November 2nd, day before the election. First trading day of November. Been quite a year, right? My lord. Nothing much going on here. Things are just sort of floating around. Uh, risk is just going to push and pull sort of on the weak hands going into this election. We do have... Uh, Spanish manufacturing, Italian manufacturing, German manufacturing PMI, U.S. also manufacturing PMI, which are kind of secondary issues today. I think what we really need to be doing is just giving some thought to exactly what we're going to do on um, a Biden win or what we're going to do on a Trump win, what we're going to do on a blue wave if the Democrats take over the Senate or what we're going to do on um, a red wave uh, if uh, Trump and, and his people win everything. So you just have to get both uh, scenarios in your head, try and figure this out. Currencies don't make a whole lot of sense right now. Stocks are kind of higher, but the dollar's lower. Dollar yen is on its highs. Uh, but it's just really floating around. Bonds have actually gained a bit of steam. Looks like uh, the market is just sort of taking out some of the recent Biden uh, trades. That's sort of the best way to sort of describe what's going on. But effectively, as you can see, nothing really is moving. Cable's off, you know, a few pips because of the lockdown. Um, and dollar max is up half a percent from the close um, seems odd um, but I guess that's people who are just short dollar max going into the election gold just sitting here in the middle of nowhere are we gonna get a clear out I don't know but it does get interesting down below 60 now which will probably lead to an attack below 50 um, but as I said not a whole lot to do here. Um, let's see how Bitcoin is doing. Bitcoin's not doing too much, just sitting at the highs. You want to just be patient today. Um, keep an eye on, I guess, some of the headlines. And just give some thought to what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, today's not a day to put big risk on. So just try and nip and tuck as you can. Um, and get yourself ready, get rested for what should be a pretty busy two-day period with uh, the election and then the Fed on Wednesday night. So a lot happening going forward, but not a lot to do today. I mean, let's just run through this quickly. Euro looks pretty offered, frankly. Um... Looks like they want to. Looks like they want to make an attack on this uh, 69, uh, 115. Sorry, 116.12 low here. This is uh, 116.15. Looks like they want to make an attack on this. Um, would not be surprised if we nip below that just to take out a few more um, longs. Aussie, we flip down through the figure, but no real joy. Quick move uh, to 96, back up to 11. Here we are at 03. Cable, as you know, locked down. Spooked, pe spooked a few people, but no big deal. Dollar Swiss making new highs, no big deal. Dollar Yen surprising a lot of people up here. Should be resistance at 105.10. Um, but easily could go up to 105.40 just to screw people before this election. Talked about dollar max. <clears throat> Closed down at 17. Uh, why we went up to 31 in Asia. You know, that's just stops, right? There's no, there's no other reason max moves like that in Asia. Kiwi, not doing anything. Down a touch. Dollar CAD. 
also not doing anything, just kind of where it was uh, on Friday in Dollar China, also dead flat on the day. Good day to watch, good day to get some exercise, get some fresh air, uh, and get your head right for tomorrow. No, no real reason for me to babble on about all this stuff. Everyone's got to do their own strategies. Um, but just spend some time doing each of them. Because even though it looks like Biden's going to win, uh, you never know in these things. And you got to think about scenarios. Um, and what those scenarios will mean to the gold market, to the stock market, and to the dollar. We'll have some more on this tomorrow morning. Share some of the things that we're thinking about but for now we're just going to uh, give it some more thought and then watch where price is because that price matters right going into it it has an effect on what your strategy is going to be so today's a watch price day anyway good luck out there people talk to you tomorrow